Welcome to the Miami Herald Business Show. I'm Nyla Boudou. Just as the debate over health care reform continues in Washington, many employees in South Florida and across the country are being asked to look at the health care benefits they have right now. It's called open enrollment time, and for many, that means trying to decipher what can be a complex system of benefits. John Dorschner is a Miami Herald business reporter who's written extensively about the economics of health care, and we're hoping he can shed some light on the issue today. John, thanks for joining us. Good to be here. So the first question I have is obviously it's open enrollment time. A lot of people are looking at their health care costs. Many people may be in a situation where their salaries may be cut or they're not making any more, but their companies are asking them to pay more for health care. So how do you be a smart consumer about your health care costs? Well, there's a lot of complicated answers, but simply uh, primary care is best. Take care of things with, before they become expensive emergency room problems. Generic drugs are uh, much better than uh, branded drugs if you can do that. And flex savings accounts for those that are offered them uh, can give you a lot of uh, tax savings. What's a flex savings account for people who may not be familiar with it? Flex savings accounts are offered through generally through employers and you put aside dollars uh, before taxes. They can only be used for health care, but you don't pay taxes on that money. So if you have a $500, let's say, each year in health care costs out of pocket, uh, you'll be saving $150, $200 in taxes. And do people not use it as much as they should? Well, I know at the Miami Herald they were telling us that only 16% uh, of employees use flex savings accounts, and uh, which is a uh, no-brainer that uh, they're good for almost anybody. Okay, thanks. Um, so obviously a lot of people are enrolling in their health care plans. I wonder if they're, now that they have those plans and they're looking at them, if that's had any impact on the national health care debate across the country. Well, it certainly uh, heightens interest in uh, health care costs, and uh, the latest polls are showing that more and more people are in favor of a public option as part of the health care reform. Can you explain sort of the nuances of what a public option actually is? Public option would only be for maybe 10 or 20 percent of Americans. It would not affect those that are already have employer-based care. There could be a lot of uh, variations on this. There's many proposals. But what it involves is really is uh, the government uh, insurance, the, uh, a government insurance option, which could be part of a Medicare-like thing or it could be separate. Okay. And how do you, I mean, how do you recommend people kind of stay on top of the debate and kind of learn more about it and educate themselves about it? Well, the Miami Herald and MiamiHerald.com certainly are doing things. There is a number of websites, uh, the Kaiser Family Foundation, kff.org, uh, also is keeping very up-to-date with the different proposals. Great. Thanks so much, John. You're welcome. That was the Miami Herald's business reporter, John Dorschner. Last week, the House unveiled its ideas for how to reform health care. It's an almost $900 billion package of legislation that now needs to be matched up with what the Senate's working on. If you want to take a look at some other websites that are trying to educate people about the health care debate, check out what John Dorschner talked about, the Kaiser Family Foundation's website. Thanks for watching. For the Miami Herald Business Show, I'm Nyla Boodoo.